Hey guys, WBK here, your source for everything making money and resale related. And I have a blog post on eBay from the very official looking Jordan Sweetnam, who is the senior vice president plus manager, general manager of America's Market, a good guy to know. And he's talking about some trends on eBay that I think you should know about because it's really gonna open up uh, probably some good sourcing trends, opportunities, abilities for you to get in before the rush uh, because they're just giving out really great information. So I'm gonna read over this to you. Uh, it said, sellers, as we head into summer, we're keeping a close watch on new trends influencing everything from clothes and hobbies to collections and decor. For younger shoppers, TikTok is playing a huge role in style inspiration, and they love the 90s. I'll skip down for a minute. Uh, they're searching Y2K, those such as are up 640% following a popular TikTok trend. So if you're trying to find new sourcing opportunities, go to TikTok. They're buying metallic jackets, preppy prints, scrunchies, Prada sunglasses, I had a pair of those, velour track suits, and vintage Von Dutch trucker hats. Also grunge. Films like Singles, bands like Pearl Jam, Destroyed Denim, Doc Martens. They go on to say uh, there's no arguing that Hollywood remakes boost search and sales as well. Talk about Top Gun Maverick. They're anticipating continued interest over the summer in Ray-Ban aviators, bomber jackets, and jumpsuits. So list those jumpsuits in those aviators, guys. Similarly, Moon Knight, that's a new Netflix series, I think. It's like a more adult comic booky thing. Uh, fans are flocking to eBay. Werewolf by Night, 32 sold for $65,000. Good God. Making it the second most expensive comic book of this grade. It's a near mint. Uh, additionally, werewolf comics and action figures are up 142 and 126% respectively. Speaking of collectibles, eBay announced they're teaming up with Funko. Uh, just like eBay Funko brings together pop culture and passion. I don't know how they're teaming up. Exclusive releases. Ooh, exclusive eBay releases. That kind of sucks for resellers. Uh, unless they drop and uh, they run out of stock. And then you can buy them and flip them that way. Only on eBay, fans of rare vintage gabbits might be where the Commodore 65 prototype sold for nearly $50,000. Wow. So the Commodore 65 is the next thing after a 64. On the subject of vintage tech, search across the boards are up. A Fuji, Fuji films out of camera. A GW690-3 is up 100% and the Leica MA rangefinder is up 43%. This recent New York Times article takes a look. If you've ever seen, I'll link to whatever, I can't think off the top of my head right now. It's an Olympus camera, uh, a film camera. Those are really easy finds at thrift stores. You're not gonna sell it for that, you know, thousands of dollars, but I think they go for like between two and 300 bucks. I'm pretty sure. I'll put some comps on the screen as I talk about it because this is, it's an Olympus something. It's like a silver looking camera. That's one you wanna look out for. I've sold a few of those. It's a common bolo, I guess, to look out for. Uh, they also go on to say people are prioritizing leisure trips. Yeah, right now if gas is nine bucks a gallon, they aren't. That goes for camping gear, travel games, travel friendly electronics and everything in between. And that's what Jordan says, just recapping it. So what, what do I take from this? What does Blake, professional reseller say? Um, vintage electronics, film cameras certainly go up in value, track suits, aviators. I, I'm, from my own personal business, watches. 90s watches are really going up in value too. They've always been kind of in demand, but um, I've been selling some like 90s Timex watches for like 10, 20 bucks, and those would not sell a year ago. Um, I think we're gonna see again, just that nostalgia stuff. I wonder if Pogs are gonna make a comeback. I'm sure there's some like, what are they called, slammers, remember those? I'm sure there's some rare slammers. So if you have a chance to buy any of these things in bulk, like nostalgia, probably not Beanie Babies, but who knows, dude, who knows? Any of that stuff uh, where people have kind of written it off as being worthless, but is now getting value with the new Gen Z TikTok trends. This is great to look for at like estate sales, local auctions, places like Hybid that are like liquidation type auctions, buy lots of things from the 90s, watches, clothing, Furbies, slammers, Tamagotchis, uh, handheld video games like Tiger video games. 
All that stuff I've noticed anecdotally going up in value, and I think that this blog post verifies that. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, comment below with what you think is happening with resale. Are we gonna hit $9 a gallon gas? Is that gonna screw over the economy? Or are people gonna go from buying leisure trip stuff to staycation trip stuff? I don't know. I'm just as totally clueless as you, but I'm trying to think of what's gonna happen. See you guys later.